Not only can we inject different classes into our services, but we can also inject different configuration, properties and parameters and so forth into our services, which means that they are highly configurable because these parameters can be set in our parameters.yml file, they can be set in our configuration, they can be set in other places as well. And what we do is we use the constructor or we use some setter methods to set those parameters within our class. That is what we're going to be focusing on in today's tutorial. So let's dive straight into the PHP Storm IDE here and we're going to be focusing on the admin validator. So this is tutorial 5 in the GitHub uh, repository and here we can see that this property or this value of 5 is hard coded into this class. This will check the uh, the get password value and it'll check it against the length of 5. If it is less than 5 it will throw an error. It will set that to this errors. This is something that we did in the previous tutorial and it will check for the value if it is less than 5 we have this error. Now this value of 5 is hard-coded inside this class here. So in today's tutorial, what I'm going to do is inject that value of 5 into this class. So let's go ahead and set this up. We need a public function, which is the constructor. The constructor is going to take a single argument. We're going to call this min password length like so and we're just going to set a private um, property called min password length again let's just copy that over to here like so uh, I'm just going to give it uh, a comment with the data type of int and we're then here just going to do this min password is equal to min password or password length let's save that and then here we can grab that from this so let's do this uh, min uh, password length so let's just drag this out a little bit so you can see it more so what this is doing is we have a constructor we're passing in the argument min password length setting that in the constructor like so and then when we validate the uh, the admin user, it's checking that uh, value against the length of the password. If it is l less than the length that we supply, then an error is thrown, which means that we can now tailor this within our services.yml file. Let's just save that and let's open up the services.yml file. That is in app uh, config in services.yml. What we're doing here, this is basically how it was left in um, tutorial 4. We're supplying the user validator. Uh, we want to be supplying this time the admin validator, switching it from this validator or this service to this service. And now we want to supply an argument to this service here. We supply the argument just like we would supply um, this class. So let's just copy that and put that in here like so. But because this is a parameter that we are injecting into this service, we need to handle it slightly differently. Now up here, can you see parameters? And we have this key value pair here, which is commented out. We have parameter underscore name and then colon and then the value. This is the parameter name, this is the parameter value. Again, this could be from, say, the parameters file. Oops, just move that back. This could be the, from the parameters.yml file as well. It doesn't have to be set at this uh, in this file. So what we're going to do is uncomment that out, and we're going to create our own parameter. Let's call this admin dot and then min underscore password um, underscore length. And the value, sorry, just change that. The value we're going to supply as, let's just say, 3 for now. So if it is less than 3, then it will throw an error. Now what we do is we can supply this parameter into here. But notice that this argument 
has an at symbol. An at symbol means that it is another service that has been defined already. But what we need is a parameter and parameters are defined using the percentage signs on either side. So percentage symbols. So like so, and we save that. Now what we're doing is we're injecting the value three as the first argument into the constructor of admin validator. And I've mentioned before that it's not just the constructor that we can actually use to set things. I'll be demonstrating that in a future tutorial. I want to keep this tutorial nice and small and simple and quick for this one. But right now what we're doing here is we're just in simply injecting the value of three based on this parameter um, like so as this argument. So let's save that. Let's go straight back into uh, the, the validator. So validation in uh, admin validator, just to recap what we've done. We're calling the constructor and passing in three into here and then setting that like so. In our default controller, what we're doing is we're supplying a password, which is three. So let's say that is one, for instance, and save. This should now throw us an error. Let's save that. Go back into the browser and refresh the page. So if I refresh the page here, that should now be false. And we have, please have a better password. OK, let's play with this a little bit. So let's go back into the tutorial. Let's go up to the services.yml file, change that to be uh, 10, and then hit save. And let's go back to the browser and refresh the page. This should also fail. But if we go back into the tutorial and have a password which is greater than 10. So let's go back into the default controller here. Let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Let's save that. That should uh, pass. So let's go back into... Uh, the, the browser, refresh the page, that should be true because that is not less than uh, 10. Now, like I've mentioned, we can set these parameters in various places. We don't have to use the services.yml file. The advantage of using parameters like this means that you can use those parameters in different places as well. So if we needed to use the value of three, as a definition of the minimum admin password, then we can use that in other places too. Now, if you found this video helpful, then do give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you've got any comments, questions, or queries, put them down in the comments section below. Thanks ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everyone. And I will see you again in the next tutorial. Cheers. Bye.